AP courses, as they are commonly called, are college-level courses made to give students the opportunity to receive college credit at a fraction of the price. McHenry High School West Campus offers more than 20 AP courses and many more could be on their way. We talked to Mrs. Disselhorst about McHenry West and the growing amount of AP courses offered. I know for sure that there are definitely, they're always writing curriculum for more AP classes. Like I think there's an AP statistics class. Yeah, they're always trying to, you know, increase the amount of options for students to take. So, yes. My partner and I decided to look into these courses and their benefits. Based on this well-crafted graph found in a parent informational meeting, it is clearly shown that more and more students are taking advanced placement courses. We asked Mr. Valianados and Mrs. Disselhorst what they thought about this increase. Yes, absolutely. The, uh, the trend for the district is going in a very positive direction, actually skyrocketing over the last two or three years as we've offered more courses and more students are getting involved with AP. Yes, I have. Um, I think our district as a whole is pushing towards having more and more kids taking AP classes to try to in increase the rigor of our academics. And um, there's definitely a push of having kids take more AP tests too. So obviously, of course, with that then comes the AP class. But I think that it's ingrained in our teenagers' brains from early, early on to try to take as many challenging courses as possible. So yeah, I think that there's definitely been an increase. It is true that students receive many benefits. But at what cost? Many students are stressed out and can become overwhelmed by the workload these courses have. Mr. Kennedy, a guidance counselor, and Mrs. Disselhorst, a school social worker, have both seen students become overwhelmed with these courses. There are students that are taking five AP classes at a time. The college board uh, who manages the AP courses recommends only three at a time due to stress and workload. So students are becoming more stressed and um, not using as many opportunities to explore various elective options as they're uh, trying to take all these extra AP courses. So yes, they're benefiting themselves in the long run in terms of preparing themselves for college, but there is also a lot of stress and they are also not able to explore as many elective offerings in high school due to focusing on all these AP courses. Um, I do think that there are some children, some teens who maybe aren't ready to take the amount of course or of uh, AP courses that they're taking or that, that tough of a course load at one time. I think there's so much pressure on like the junior year to have that be your toughest year and take all these classes and that's when kids feel like, okay, now I'm ready to do that. And I see too many kids jump into taking like four AP classes in one year versus kind of testing it out when maybe that might be more appropriate. Um, but I certainly, obviously, would be in support of taking or of having kids take the AP courses. I think it's really important, and there are many kids who can handle it perfectly well. I just know that there are some who struggle with it, and um, I think that so it's kind of it kind of goes both ways, I guess. I think the the push for it is good, but I also think the push for it can be negative as well. So even though AP classes can be stressful, if a person perseveres and challenges themselves they can receive many benefits. Benefits not available at lower level courses. Some of them yes, all of them no. Um, some students, like I said, just weren't prepared for the level of work that was going to be offered in AP class and so it was going to be uh, above their level. Whereas other students um, that I know have gone into an AP class, have been struggling, um, but they're going to fight for that C and they're going to know how hard that they're working in order to get them and that's going to mean a lot more to that person than taking uh, the regular level class and easily getting an A or a B. So um, for those students, it's definitely worth their while to struggle a little bit. From just from what I've seen, um, 
it seems like they're appropriate. I took some AP classes in high school, obviously that was a long time ago, but um, I think it's probably right where it should be. I think it challenges students enough to kind of get outside your comfort zone. Um, it's not as traditional as the other types of classes that there are. It seems like you do a lot more like hands-on projects, more like kind of like college learning, which is, um, I mean, obviously an asset, you're just gonna be that much farther ahead when you get to college. So I think it's probably appropriate. AP classes can help with college admissions because it helps prove that the student can handle a heavy workload. Absolutely, I think all students, no matter what uh, you know, situation they're in academically, should should stretch themselves and take uh, challenging courses. And anytime you have challenging courses, it's it's going to be um, it's going to be a struggle at times. But you know that's what makes everyone stretch and improve. Yeah, if you only go at a level that's going to be easy for you, then you're never going to um, excel. You always need to be working hard and challenging yourself, and that looks different for different people. So if you know science is something you're really interested in and you want to take an AP biology class, do that. If you want to take an AP chemistry class, do that. If you're not strong at history, I wouldn't suggest taking an AP class. Do you stick with your strengths? and you try to strengthen those even more so that way you have more opportunities going into college but it's not something that you should just go into with the idea of I'm just going to challenge myself today and I'm going to take an AP class if you're not actually prepared and ready for the amount of work that it's going to present you with. If a person takes the AP test and does well then they can save money because college credit can be received for a fraction of the cost. Uh, in terms of if you take the AP test, you can earn college credit um, at some schools. If you earn a three, four or five, depending upon the institution and the course, um, you can be waived out of particular courses. It typically, if it's a class that you're uh, going to be majoring in, they're still going to want you to take their class. One benefit from AP courses is that it challenges students. They learn from a difficult course and learn skills that can help them in college or a future career. Skills like organization and time management. Both of which are essential and can help a person become successful. Well, like I said, it's college level coursework. You know, the rigors, the higher level thinking, the demands, um, not only in the quality of the work, but the the time frames and the level of work that's demanded um, really gets students from an organizational stand, standpoint uh, prepared for what it will be like to take a college course. There are also some benefits that some people may overlook, such as friendships being made and getting one step closer to Distinguished Warrior. Mrs. Disselhorse provided her opinion regarding AP classes and friendships. create for sure I mean you're in courses with people that you you know may or may not have been in classes with just like any class I mean you kind of connect with the people around you and when you have a common task at hand you ultimately will form a bond with a person just because you have that thing in common um, it may end friendships I guess if the ba that balance piece isn't there for somebody if they aren't able to balance social life and academics then I guess it could probably impact friendships just depending on how people handle it. In Disney's movie, Mulan, the Emperor says, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. He means that when a person encounters something challenging or difficult, it makes a person stronger once they overcome it. AP classes prepare students for the rest of their life teaching them skills and material that is worth the struggle. The benefits outweigh the effort and stress. After a person graduates, then they'll look back at AP classes in a positive manner.